Hey guys, so today I'm here with the first look at iOS 4.3 for the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. Uh, so this is the latest version of iOS, and it brings a few nice new features. So let's just jump straight on in. Uh, so the first and most noticeable one you'll see just right off the bat is that there is a new FaceTime icon. Not really a big deal. However, uh, it definitely does look very similar to the one on the Mac. Kind of make it all look right, but again, not a big deal in the slightest. Uh, what is a much bigger deal, however, is that Safari has been updated and it is now dramatically faster. So if we want to go ahead and open up a new tab here, let's just punch in state of jailbreak. And you guys will see that it is dramatically faster. This is a full desktop site. As you guys can see there, it loaded in just a matter of a couple of seconds. Pretty much on par with, you know, like a netbook as far as I can tell. Very, very impressive. Um, and of course, the speed gains are going to be even better on the next iPad, of course, the iPad 2. And you'll be able to see that now you can actually output uh, video from a variety of sources via AirPlay. So before, it was just pretty much in the inbuilt Apple apps. You know, you could just, you know, take your movies, send it over to your Apple TV via AirPlay. It's pretty much very, very limited. However, in 4.3, there's pretty much no restriction. So, you know, you can do it in the browser, YouTube app, wherever you want. You can output full video over to your Apple TV. So that's definitely a very nice thing. If you have a GSM iPhone 4, you're going to be really pleased to know that there is now a new feature called Personal Hotspot. What this allows you to do is, just like on the Verizon iPhone 4, you can just pull in you know, your standard 3G and you create a Wi-Fi bubble around you, which allows you to connect various other Wi-Fi devices to your iPhone to allow you to tether. And now do keep in mind that this might, co this might cost a little bit more depending on your plan, or you might not be able to activate it, so definitely check with your carrier in your region. But this is a new feature in 4.3, which is definitely very much appreciated. Anyway guys, that's about it for my overview of iOS 4.3. It's a pretty decent update. Again, there's not a whole lot new. Safari is definitely the biggest feature in my opinion, um, but definitely a very nice update. Now there is a downside, however. If you have an iPhone 3G or an iPod Touch second generation, you will not be able to get 4.3. Apple has officially dropped support for those devices. Uh, definitely a bit of a disappointment. Uh, you know, it kind of seems a little bit odd that they didn't at least let it, you know, bring to five uh, iOS 5. However, I guess that's kind of how it goes. So if you have one of those devices, uh, don't look for 4.3 because you're not going to be able to get it. Definitely a little bit of a downside. Uh, however, overall, for the rest of the devices, 4.3 is a really solid update. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.